mostly ghost host Sue is with me. And she accompanied the angry Samoans who are here back from the dead on our show once more. We're afraid to have them. Three songs. Hot cars. Stupid jerk. And Jerry Curlin. Angry Samoans! I think I'm gonna take a trip. I think my mother's gonna rent. My door is on my mind. My door is on my mind. My door! My door! No! I think I'm gonna go insane. I think I'm gonna lose my brain. My door is on my mind. My door is on my mind. My door! My door! My door! You stupid jerk. You stupid jerk! Can't dig in the mall! You stupid jerk! And your mother's a whore! Samoans, Jeff, Bill, Todd, Greg, and PJ. I asked who was the leader, and PJ told me it was a democratic tyranny. What does that mean? That means everybody argues and nothing gets done. All right, Todd, why do you hate Jerry Curlin and this incredible, intense anger and 
You hate Terry Cohen? Yeah. Who is he? My brother's little friend. We buried him the other day. The guy is dead and you're singing his hate song towards him? Yeah. It's his dirge. You really hated him? How did he die? They loved him, obviously. We hate everyone. These are the... Oh, it's about John Bonham? Yeah. We hate him, too. The angry Samoans hate everybody. Jeff, you were here on another band where you played bass, Vox Pop, right? Wrong. No, I didn't play bass. Uh, you're, so you're a different guy. But what about the whole new wave movement and how much you guys loathe the rest of humanity? How do you think you um, fit in with all the other bands in L.A.? Um, drugs. Hey, is there any hope for the planet or what? <laughs> Thank you. Is there any hope for you? No, there never was. Is there any hope for you, PJ? I hope not. You don't want to live, do you? Hey, who, needs, who needs hope? Who needs hope? What do we need? Come on, uplift the audience. Show the opposite side of your personality. What do we need? Yeah. Like better mental institutions. <laughs> so we can heal some of you. Hi there. Red Eulogy here, your Ganko guardian. Friends, what kind of music are you going to be listening to after they drop the big one, hmm? If you've taken the time to shelter your record collection, Chances are there's going to be nothing left to play them on by the time the Holocaust takes place. So prepare for the apocalypse now by investing in your new Genko nuclear-proof radio cassette player. Guaranteed to avoid a 20 megaton direct hit. Even if you're wiped out, your Genko will keep on playing till after the cows come home, which will be never. If you survive and nothing else does, your Genko will keep right on playing on the only nuclear-proof radio station, KRIP. Send for yours now, and without obligation and free, we'll send you five new Genko artists on album cassettes, such as Philosophy's Greatest Hit, Before It's Too Late, Ed Duke Cajun's Plaintive Answer Back, and Yukon Jewett's Last Hope. This gift collection not available anywhere on the planet, so send for yours now, free, with your own Genko health proof machine. Send $139.95 cash or gold to Genko's last offer box, 666, Six Mile Island, at Nye, Illinois. And remember, a Genko in the hand is worth a gherkin in a blast. <laughs> A group of performance artists, Oblong Rondas, music by Voice Pond, Sleep!
oblong rondas. I'd like you to meet my son, Hisao Shinagawa, the great. Yes, Pop, I'm the son of a Peter. <laughs> Kumbawa, Osu. Many subjects in the news, Iraq, Iran, Joe Beckwith and the failed helicopter rescue attempt. Subjects, the news. Take it, boy. Artificial we resuscitation, live. wouldn't you say? We live. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, well, I'm here with subjects to Gary, Ken. No, this is Nick, not Pastor. Jasmine and Steve. They look like a really nice, sweet bunch of kids, but actually they're kind of unruly and untamed. <laughs> oh, well, look, here's the brains behind the group, and here's the brawn. I'm the razor. Nick, I'm the razor. you call this music new way? We, we really think oh, it's real new. We, we it is new. Yeah. But in the subject matter or the presentation, what are you trying to do here? Uh, we, we see it a lot of times in the news. We like it. One of the things you say is that you, you know, can't relate to violence in the news, Jasmine. Is that true? Yeah. And your idea is that you have to push away violence, you can't face reality, you can't face truth? Yeah. Do you have such a beautiful complexion because of the month you were born? No, it's because, uh, born I get a beach a lot. You must been, okay, can't express for me. Express. Hey, I love it. You're kind of... He has a lot of raisins. No, he's Jasmine. an animalistic, very wild personality. Jasmine. Not crazy. Jasmine. That's really. Jasmine. Not me. What's Jasmine. the meaning of life, Ken? The meaning of life is sex, drugs, and money. Jasmine, the meaning of life is What you? can you do for the planet? Yes. It's not a thing. Steve has a lot of raisins. Steve has a lot of raisins. Jasmine, what? You, are you telling him that sex and drugs are the meaning of life? Yeah. Fine, Pete. I think so. Hey, I really like raisins. <laughs> 
keep going, Ray. Ray. Thank you. 
Cha. No. Patrick, Lem, Emmanuel, Lewis, Jesse, and Calvert. Patrick, I'll ask you first because you're very serious. Is it true that the farther south you go in this hemisphere, the groovier people get? Oh, right, right. <laughs> What's it like in Belize? Hot and uh, it's beautiful down there. What's the environment out of which this music arises? One love. So you mean the Rastafari religion? Uh, no. I know that you all have personal philosophies, but can you tell us a little about this Holly Selassie's picture in the lion and John? Who would be Lewis? Why don't you explain about it? Well, one of the thing about one love is that we feel that uh, what there's one humanity, one people on the planet, and we have the symbol of Haile Selassie because, for one, he was the, the last reigning black king on, on the planet. And he's into love. And uh, he preached one love, too. And which is something everybody can understand. One humanity, black and white. One, one human race. On Period. The Great. Babylon warriors. Jalo. Ites. Okay. Hollywood trash. <laughs> friends. Chris Genkel here, founder of Genkel Synthetic Meats. You know, folks say when you're really starving, you'll eat anything, even your own loved ones. And let's face it, it's true. But if you really love those closest to you and you want to keep on loving them even after the cataclysm, you should know about Genkel Synthetic Meat Pebbles. Friends, even in peacetime, the grocery stores are closed on holidays. And after the big one, when all the social services have been shut down, those stores won't even be around. Hey, don't get caught salivating over a loved one when you can reach for a vacuum-sealed packet of genuine Genkels dyed in the wool, simulated uh, meat pebbles. Thousands of bite-sized lozenges shaped and formed to resemble spongy miniature steaks, each containing 40 times its own weight in raw protein. Genkels fills every tooth and sprocket with a horseshoe kick of real live meat, and one packet provides enough protein to prevent a family of four from eating each other to alive for up to six weeks. Uh, a bargain at half the price. So buy some now from your favorite grocer. If he doesn't have it, eat him. Remember, a family is only as strong as its weakest link, Gankles. Creativity is being responsible to the creator. The role of creativity up till now has served as everything from personal gratification to at best a pitiful artist's vehicle for vaguely suggesting social change. But art is not taken seriously. Sophisticated hardware has benefited the entertainment industry with a new awareness of world conditions. What do they do with it? Where does this meet public responsibility? In lieu of somebody doing something about really lessening confusion on a large scale, it had seemed the only people left are the entertainment politicians who squander their talents on dog food and toothpaste. They will be the salvation of the species. The magnetic power of video is capable of planning in your brain tomorrow's menu for a better world. There's no evidence that big buck consciousness was ever in touch with either reality or the needs of the people. So if we're to survive, we must become molecularly involved in our own fate and destiny. On behalf of our producer, All World Stage, this is your Backstreet Boy stage door Ivers wishing you a lip sync lullaby in the lunchroom of Leviathan. You have been watching UA Theater, a satellite production of All World.